the, the concern is fossil fuel, right? The fact that we're not reducing it enough. If you read the IRA report, it's something that's been done. Are you worried that here at COP there's also a president that has come under a lot of uh, fire and frankly a scandal because apparently he has been maybe pushing some of the fossil fuel contracts to leaders that he was meant to be with COP? What I'm hearing and I'm, what I want to focus on, obviously, is the fact that there is huge momentum and strong dynamics to build the low carbon energy system of tomorrow. And for this, you're going to need, Francine, massive renewable development, which you know, seems to be a, a good commitment and there is good dynamics behind that. You're going to need also, obviously, flexibility assets because renewables tend to be intermittent. And what I think we have to focus on, not just green electrons when there is nice weather or when there is sun or when there is wind, but also ability stores to store the energy and to dispatch it when people actually need it. So here you need storage solutions. That's why I'm always pushing the battery theme, which is very important to complement the energy. And then lastly, the molecules. Gas, today is fossil gas, needs to be part of the system of tomorrow because it's a very nice complement to the electrons. Of course, it needs to be low carbon gas. And so here, excitement around everything we can do on biomethane, hydrogen, and derivatives of hydrogen to help make sure that this energy mix gets developed in the right way in order for the energy system to be not just low carbon, but also very important, resilient, and affordable. I'm sure we'll talk about the social aspect of the energy transition. It's so important to keep the affordability in mind. It's Tell me a little bit about green hydrogen. We spoke about it in the past, and I guess the uh, Inflation Reduction Act has done wonders in trying to get the price down. Is there, is there a price that you're that you're looking at for, for escape velocity, where a lot of these renewables will be, I guess, you know, being able to adopt much more widely. Yeah, so green hydrogen is indeed super exciting because it's going to be the versatile molecule that is going to respond to a lot of the challenges, the transport, heavy transport, right, the industries that are hard to abate, and also can provide storage solutions for the green electrons that hopefully we will have plenty of. So it is indeed part of the solution. What I think is true is that we have been a little bit disappointed on the base of the development of the market. I think you have to understand that a lot needs to happen for this market to indeed mature to, to the level we need. You need regulation. You need a lot of green electrons, a lot. And you also need the infrastructure. And we are working on all of those aspects. When I say we, it's, a, it's a everyone. Uh, on the energy side, a lot on the infrastructure. So, you know, we are testing, for example, storage, uh, cavities that today use, are used to store natural gas and we're trying to convert them to hydrogen. We're testing some of that pipeline. We're also in, involved in a, a very nice project between Spain, France, maybe Germany to transport green hydrogen. So a lot going on, but indeed I think yeah. it's fair to say that it's taking a little bit longer yeah. to mature, which is why when we talk about green molecules, you always have to think you have today commercial solution yeah. like biomethane, which yeah. is today, and it's the same molecule as natural gas. So it's really a one-for-one -one replacement. And that's exciting to see you know, certain countries recognizing the potential of this molecule. And obviously, NG is very active in, in, in going after it. Are, are you doing anything specifically in the Middle East? Is NG looking at opportunities here? So NG, we have a historical presence here in the Gulf, in the region. Uh, we have a big power producer, but also a water producer. People don't know that, but it's, it was part of our power uh, production presence. And today, as we've done with the rest of the group, we are obviously pivoting our focus and we are investing indeed uh, in district cooling solutions. And we have a, a great partner in Abu Dhabi. So district cooling is a way to provide cooling solution in a very efficient manner. So that's one focus area for us here. And also, of course, green molecules. So we have hydrogen project under development. And lastly, and hopefully, we will do renewables in a couple of countries, uh, Saudi and Abu Dhabi, hopefully as well. So uh, yes, yeah, very much important region for us.